Hey guys, how's it going? Mr. Soul Killer here. Today I'm going to be starting a very um, special Let's Play, I believe, for me. I'm going to be doing a Let's Play of the whole Half-Life, whatever you'd like to call it. I'm not going to say Trilogy because people get upset about that word, but everyone's waiting for Half-Life 3. It, you know, it's that situation. But anyways, I've never played the Half-Life series, and that's like apparently the biggest sin you can do as a gamer. So I decided with the Steam sale going and it being really, really cheap, I decided to go ahead and get it. Um, I also got Bioshock Infinite, and I want to know if you all want to see me play Bioshock Infinite, because I know like everyone's done a series on that game. So I'm kind of asking, do you all want to see a Bioshock Infinite series? Please leave a comment below, you know. So here we go. Uh, we're going to go with... Select a level of difficulty or the training room. Let's go with training room so I can learn the controls. Like I said, this is my first time playing Half-Life. I am playing on PC with PC controls, so. Let's see here. Hazard course. Oh, that Hello is loud. And welcome to the Hold on, I'm gonna have to adjust sound settings again. I'm dearly sorry for this. I like I said, I just started with this record. There we go. Course, where you will be trained in the use of the hazardous environment suit. I am your holographic what? Okay. If you see one of these buttons, press it, and I will... Alright, I'm gonna have to turn this turn speed up, because you turn really slowly. Um, I don't know how much I'm gonna be talking during this Let's Play at first, honestly, because I'm still trying to get... There we go, that's much better. Still trying to kind of get used to this. Moving around in your HEV suit can be slightly disorienting at first. Take a moment to familiarize yourself with basic movement, and soon it will fit you like a second skin. I will see you just around the corner. Alright, just around the corner. This is not around the corner, this is around multiple corners. You lied to me, but okay. The first move we will practice in the hazard course. You will now duck under the next set of obstacles. Duck keys. Note that crouching will automatically shift your suit into How did I know I am so good? I actually knew the control for it. Very good. I hardly noticed you. Move on to the next area. Now we will combine skills. You will need to All right. This is insultingly easy, but this is a tutorial, so <laughs> a, a duck jump. All right, so far so good. All right. Nice job. This doesn't seem like part of the course for some reason. This just doesn't seem correct to make you do on company time, but whatever. All right. Brief loading screen. Ah, that was really good, actually. The loading was so. The next three jumps get harder each time, but they are quite possible. Great work. Those were difficult, now, guys. One more style of jumping, long jumping you requires its own charging module. Still okay. Here. To activate your long jump, you will have to duck and move forward, and then launch into a jump. Once you're up on the platform, press the button, and I will demonstrate the move. Well, wait, while well, moving forward... Hold down the duck key, then press jump. Be sure you picked up the long jump module at the beginning. Thank you, game. I did. Oh, okay. That's interesting control work, but I have to agree. I think that's simple enough to understand how to do it in game. Press forward to move up. What if I want to go? Yeah, I guess I do want to go down. I was going to say, what if I want to go down? Please start the lift by moving up to the button. Looking at it and press okay. Again, I'm seeming to understand the controls. Now that you're up here, there's only one way down. Find the target on the floor below and do your best to hit. If you take any damage from the fall, we will administer medical care. You will at find the damage like this one throughout the Black Mesa compound. To restore your health, walk up to a med kit. Oh, you have to. You have to hold it for a while. Will recover gradually until you are at full health or the kit is depleted. 
Once the light goes out, a med kit cannot be reused. Alright. So far, so good. Um, I'm sorry for you all having to watch this early part of the Let's Play. Maybe should have done this off camera. To spin that bridge, walk up to the control wheel and press the U oh. key. It's good enough for me. Fantastic. All right. Sometimes you'll need to rely on more than just. Oh God, that's fast. If you can't push the obstacle out of your way, you might try pulling it. To pull a box, move up to it and press your use key. While holding down the use key. To oh God, the that's some good pushing you got there. All right, easy enough. Wow, Mr. Freeman. That that attack is crazy fast. Wow, that was real fast. Activate your suit flashlight for the next area. What's the flashlight button? Uh oh. First control I haven't known how to use. Alright, let's just look in the uh Options menu real quick to see what this button is. Communicate, primary attack, flashlight, F. Ah, F for flashlight. Then friends who do stuff together. And fire that burns down the whole town. Great. Remember your flashlight drains power. So switch it off when you don't need it. Do you gain power over time or no? It's not look like it. Welcome to the Black Mesa Target Range, where you will receive training in firing a weapon, reloading, and firing the attached grenade launcher. Please pick up your weapon and advance to the fire station. Alright. Oh in shit. Order to complete the course. But if you miss the first time, don't worry. Primary, primary, reload. Try to reload during pauses, rather than waiting to run out of ammunition at a critical time. To find your grenade launcher, use your alternate fire button. Certain targets will break only when hit by grenades. Commencing sequence in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now gave me the yes, even though I missed. Again, I missed, but whatever. Oh, God. That was close. No target marker on that one. Next shot. How are you supposed to shoot the target? I got this. Never mind. You have to launch it over. You have completed the Black Mesa target range. Please. Thank you, Black Mesa, for your HEV suit monitors blood oxygen levels, warning you when you need to find an air supply. As you swim through, so you'll be suffocate. Your oxygen levels will begin to drop. At the midpoint, you will be given an opportunity to surface for air. All right. So she wants me to suffocate. Where's I don't see where it says my oxygen. You will see the blood oxygen indicator on your suit's heads up display returning to its previous level. I do. You are free to swim on to the end of the course. Alright, well I'll figure out where that is later, I guess. This is the charging unit for your hazardous environment suit. You're All right. Until the charge unit is depleted. If you pass through fire or steam. Ow. Ow. Oh, what the fuck? To radiation, activate the Geiger counter and radiation display. Biohazards are also indicated with aluminum fire. Okay. Please advance to the next area. This is not a very safe way to train people on how to use this suit.
Or that. That works too. I could just press the button. I mean... It's gonna have really good loading screens. Like, they're very smooth. I like this game a lot already. Lead the security guard into the next room. He will let you back into the transit system. You must approach a guard and press your use key. He will follow you until you face him and press the use key again. So I'm using this guy? Because that doesn't sound very polite. Sure, I'll follow you. Sure, I'll follow you. Okay. No? What? Okay, I guess you're just gonna open this for me. I'll just wait here. I want this soda, though. Guess not. Okay. We'll just move along, then. I, I really wanted this soda, but fuck me, too, right? Press your use key to engage the train. Press your forward and backward key to increase or decrease the speed. There we go. Max speed. Yeah. Or you could just walk right off of it. That works too. Oh god, that's an electric rail. Oh god. Let me on. Congratulations on completing the Black Mesa. You are now fully certified for use of the HEV Mark IV protected system. Alright, well thank you for that game. That was actually a pretty good tutorial. So now, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, you know, I'm gonna cut the video here at 11 minutes. And we're going to start again on another episode now that I know quote-unquote know how to play so see you soon